We have 150 million registered users worldwide in the Wargaming universe and it's probably the biggest society in the world that brings together those passionate about history of World War II. So that's why we see that there is a demand uh, from our players on this kind of historical activities and restoration activities. And uh, we feel that it, it makes sense to give back to our community uh, by supporting heritage initiatives like uh, recreations of uh, historical flights, like renovation of uh, vehicles in museums, or uh, restoring them to fully moving condition. So it makes sense uh, to provide our huge audience of players with this kind of content because they love it. They want to experience something more beyond the game. So it's like a natural extension of players' interest, of players' journey. They play the game, they, uh, ask, they start asking themselves questions of like, uh, who built this tank, why, where it was used, uh, who, who was fighting on this tank or who served on this warship or, or war plane. So they are asking these questions themselves and we see that they uh, read these stories that we provide them with on our portals, in social media. They like it and that's, that's what we will keep going on. Well, there are like multiple reasons uh, for players and it's a pleasure for us that we um, organize these events in museums because they not only come for good for goodie bag and spend an, an hour or two in the gaming zone but they also can touch real history they can watch real tanks uh, outside of the gaming zone so they are spending one day or two days like for, for example a tank fest is like a two-day event they are spending much more time uh, touching real history than they uh, spent at the gaming zone and it's a perfect combination for us when they play the game they they um, they know and they experience something outside of the game so like broadening their knowledge so it's important for us it's like a, like our mission uh, when it comes to players to provide them with something else with the games with a high quality service but also with something else well uh, when it comes to another merge of technology and history uh, we are currently filming the first ever um, like story about World War two times from the perspective of a Soviet tanker, of British tanker and the US tanker. So we will tell their story of how they passed through the World War II. Uh, and we will add a, a huge amount of CG, of computer graphics, to the 360 degree video which has never been done before in the industry. So it will be a real time machine teleporting viewers to 70 years ago time. So it's really something cool that we will release at the end of April and uh, it's, it's, it's an exciting story that is currently being filmed in San Francisco, in London, in Minsk, in Moscow. So it's international and very exciting project that we, we, we are quite sure and we hope that our players will like it. Well, yeah, uh, we, we, uh, we have a big video team that creates like uh, gaming content, that creates historical content that's creating the top tier computer graphics so real professional professionals because we see that our players are really demanding that and we're trying to provide them with it the, the year of 2016 is a very special for us because it marks the 100th anniversary of this first serially produced tank mark one that back in 1916 was produced in the uk and saw the first battle in france so definitely we as a company that has the tanks game in its portfolio it's like an extremely special year for us and we want to be part of the story as well and we will be celebrating this anniversary with our players along the year and we are trying to find some um, possible variants to pay tribute to this tank in world of tanks as well yeah it's like it, but it's like the grand grand grandfather of, of nowadays of World War II times tanks, yeah, uh, it had two separate turrets, so it's really a challenge to see what we can do with that tank. <laughs>